Patriotic entrance. That was Columbia. Okay, Columbia. Columbia here is a California sea lion. These animals can actually be found up and down the west coast of North America. Believe it or not, you can actually find them as far north as Canada and as far south as Mexico. So they actually have a really large range of territory. When they're not in the water, you can actually find them hanging out along the rocky, jaggy coast, enjoying some sunshine, laying out in that sun. I know a lot of us like to do that this time of year. Yeah, they'll even lay on their sides to get sun on their bellies, which is really amazing. Oh, there she goes. Now, well, even, uh, you can even find them on a lot of man-made objects like docks, decks, buoys, and piers. Sea lions are incredibly smart. They figured out how to live in human spaces as well. But obviously, those sea lions are perfectly adapted for life in the water. Those incredibly large crack clippers that actually allow them to swim up to 25 miles per hour. And when they're swimming that fast, they're of course going to be chasing their favorite food. And these guys love these things like fish, crustaceans, mollusks, squid, jellyfish, octopus. And to hunt those animals, we'll do something called porpoising, which is just what she did. It's a little bit easier sometimes to dive through the air and then swim through the water. They can cover a little bit more. And when they're down that deep, they actually have these really special eyes that allow them to see in low light conditions underwater. So even at a thousand feet deep, they can still see the fish that they're hunting. Not only that, they have some really cool whiskers that allow them to find their food as well. And those whiskers have a special name. If you want to impress your friends and family, those are called vibracy. And each vibracy has its own muscle to move it, and they're so sensitive to touch with those nerve endings that she can tell the difference between a rock or like a clam when she's hunting. Very cool. Those vibrissae are really specialized and like... Oh, we're getting on the phone. We're on the Shane, you hear us? Uh, this girl in the tie-dye t-shirt comes down for a closer look at Columbia while she's talking about it? Yeah, of course. It's kind of far away. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you wanted a selfie, so why don't you come on down and you'll hang out with Shane while I keep talking about her. Now, those vibrissae are really uh, cool and allow us to find their food. But one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a sea lion and a sea lion is by looking at their ears. If they have external ears, they're sea lion. If you don't see external ears, you're actually going to be looking at a seal. Did you get a good photo? You did? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Her mouth up that I came out. Yeah, if you want to get another photo, she's like, oh, shit! Oh, my God, I Well, her face is completely. Yeah, I think she's wearing yeah. like a hat. Oh, it's now. Bye. All right. Well, hey, Columbia. Hi, Columbia. Did you get all that fish in there? She's, She's like, like, let me go double check. check. Uh, or, uh, well, okay, hold on, Dino. Let me go see if we got some more. <laughs> hey, right. Courtney. Um, all right. Now, this is Mika. And Mika's a type of animal called a kinkajou. A kinkajou actually has what's called a prehensile tail. So they can actually hang their entire body weight from that tail to get to their favorite. Be able to swallow something as big as a snake. 
snake pole. What? Yeah. A snake doesn't get long as his leg. Oh. Yeah. He can bury his leg. 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 Even higher. Uh, can you go on your tiptoes? All the way up. Can you go on Katie's 
No. No. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Oh, so this is. I had to joke, joke. Okay. About what you're going to like fly out of the pool. Yeah, that's good. Hi, Julie. So while Toby's doing this, this stick is actually more of a prompt. That was the cue for him to jump. And. Woo! That sounds of how high he should go. You sound Toby. Oh, that's so cool. Full grown, he'll actually reach around 700 pounds, believe it or not. <laughs> and see, like, 